Hello again. Well, in a previous video, I showed my new Quick Change tool post, uh, this thing here. Um, but I didn't actually fit it, and uh, that's what I'm going to rectify just now. And this is going to be one of these videos that basically um, I haven't uh, practiced all the way through. Um, I've done a little bit of um, squirting with the WD-40. I've loosened the nut on the top of here. Um, I've done a few little bits and pieces, but essentially I'm going to do this uh, for real for the first time. So first of all, I'm going to take off this tool post here. That's nice and loose anyway. This tool post just comes off. Now, you would think that the other one would just go straight on, and it sort of does. If I just remove this nut here. Sort of come off its little base. And uh, that does indeed drop on like so. Um, however, the stud that's in there isn't actually tall enough. So it's the right, um, it's the right diameter, it's the right thread, um, but um, it's not long enough. So basically, I need to use this one. And this one comes out quite easily, um, but I also need to get this one out as well. And I suspect that one will not just come out. So what I propose to do screw on a couple of nuts and then hopefully I will be able to lock these two together The idea being that I can then just unscrew this post. But that's not doing anything. This post unscrew is just fine, so it's just a normal thread because this will go into there as far as lots of other videos that I've seen. That looks like it. I can see that the camera is wobbling around. It's actually mounted on a stand on the same uh, table as the device. Right, so that stud is out. Clean that up a little bit. Now, on the uh, bottom of the uh, original tool post, I just got that in camera shot, these little notches here and there was a little um, spring, um, about the spring I think is still in there, but a little spring um, uh, post in there which basically forced this to sit at uh, 90 degree angles, which I didn't find very useful at all so I took that out um, and certainly for this, I mean there's no good reason I can see to have that little, um, so I get that in camera shot, no good reason to have that little uh, post in there either. 
so um, I think removing it was a good idea so now I need to make sure I get the right one in this is the right one in I've no idea actually how uh, tight that needs to be I can get the nuts off this other one. Or maybe just find some more M10 nuts. Tweak that round a bit. Right. That post seems to be in nice and tight. But it's not staying in because the nut is actually just driving it out. Okay, well I got the uh, stud fitted. Um, I had to use a vise to get the uh, nut off which I had forced on. And uh, what I actually did was I just used um, a pair of lock nuts, um, much like I did when I removed the old post, and actually tightened it up. And then by holding the bottom nut, I was able just to remove the top nut and then remove this nut as well. So that's basically how I solved that problem. The tool post itself drops on quite nicely. Now, there was a, a little handle in a, in a brown paper bag. Um, I fitted the handle to the shaft there. Sorry, I, sh I fitted the, uh, the knob to the, um, the sort of handle shaft and that fits in up here. So I can just screw that in. And that actually activates the mechanism. So you should be able to see that um, the this silver bit here comes out as this uh, lever goes round and there's one there as well because this tool post actually has uh, two uh, places you can fit tools on and as far as the top well there was this uh, this uh, nut here that was supplied but uh, a lot of people um, seem to use the, uh, the handle from the previous uh, tool post that fits on just fine and uh, makes it much easier to actually move. Now just before I do actually fit a tool I've uh, had a little play with it and uh, there's a couple of other points I just want to quickly make. Um, first of all I've actually moved the uh, tool holder round from this dovetail to this dovetail, that's so that the handle that actually locks, this handle here that locks the uh, tool holder in place and then releases it, um, is out of the way. And the other thing I've done is I've actually added a washer underneath this handle here because previously when it was tightened up, it was uh, coming out over the tool holder and um, that's um, not very convenient at all. So uh, by putting the washer under it, it's changed the position which, at which it tightens up. Now the other thing I didn't explain very well was the um, was the height adjustment. So if the tool holder is loose like so, this screw here or this uh, nut here lets you adjust the height of the tool holder. And then once you've got the height right, you can just lock it into place with this nut here and it's sort of like a lock nut arrangement and the idea being of course is that you uh, 
fix your uh, lathe tool in there and then set the height with this rather than shims so that um, when it's locked in place it will be at the height that you set it to when you release it you can take it off but when you put it back on again it will always be at the right height because this is what's controlling the height and uh, ideally of course you would have uh, you would have multiple ones of these I mean I've got a few um, as I showed in my previous video the kit came with various ones but ideally you would have one of these uh, for every different tool that you actually make use of so it, it is as easy as just opening this up dropping the tool on, closing it up again and basically the tool is set ready to go. Well I think that will do for this video. I'm going to have a further look at this in a future one. However, just to be getting on with, here is a clip of it in action. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. IG Stuff.